In this video, I'll show you how to get started with using the SUMIF function in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So let's head over to my second sheet. Here I have two columns, B and C, and then D is where I have my formula. So the SUMIF function takes generally two arguments. Here the tooltip shows that the first argument is a range. So in my example, I have from cell B3 to B7. Then the other argument is the criteria. What I'm using here in quotation marks is less than zero. So I'm looking for any negative numbers within my range. Then there's actually a third argument, which is a sum range, which I'll get to in the next formula. So my current formula for cell D3, which I've selected, is basically sum up all the negative numbers within my range. And so here the sum is negative $232.87. We can confirm this by just simply selecting the negative numbers. If I look on the bottom status bar, it gives me a quick sum and it does show me the same result as in my sum if function. Now if I select another number in there, the sum in the status bar changes because now I've selected four cells, but my sum if function still gets me the correct result of all the negative numbers added up together. All right, now let's take a look at sum if, but having a third argument. So the third argument is a sum range. And what this does, actually I'll fix it. There we go, this is better. What it does is it'll look at my criteria and if it matches, then it would add up the numbers in my corresponding sum range based on the matches. So with my example, let's be specific so it's easier to understand. My criteria is still looking for negative number, which would be cell B3, cell B5, and B6. And when it meets that criteria, then I'll sum up the numbers in my other range which would be cell C3, C5, and C6. So I'll press enter, and the sum if is telling me the result is 95. So how do I verify that? I'll go ahead and choose the three cells in my corresponding second range, where my first range has a negative number. If we look at the status bar, the sum does tell me 95. Hence, the sum if is giving me a result of 95 in cell D4. So that's pretty handy. The function allows us to calculate a sum in a second column based on certain criteria we set for the first column. Pretty smart, huh? Well, that's it for today's quick tip. There's actually more ways that we can set for the criteria, which I didn't go over in this video. However, I did talk about that in my other video on how to use the COUNTIF function. So I recommend you watch that video next if you have not already. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nifty.